All right, project for today is to try to get some wheels on this bad boy. I really like these uh, horizontal filing cabinets. I got one in my other shop uh, because uh, they don't get so tippy. And you can load a lot in that and it's not going to tip over as opposed to the ones that come out this way. Plus, it's, uh, it's hard to find a, pl a good place in your shop for one that comes all the way out like this. Uh, it just, it's awkward. And I really like these things because they make great storage for chemicals and paints and stuff like that. As well as a uh, big bulky, like you can stick a, a circular saw in here or the kind of stuff that doesn't fit in your standard toolbox. So. Glad to find these. Uh, a buddy of mine found a uh, basically a warehouse full of them. The company is going paperless, which is why all, all these things are coming up cheap now. Is uh, companies just don't have you know warehouses full of these things full of paper anymore. All right. So uh, what I did on my other one is uh, rather than mount the feet directly on the bottom. I put a little bit of a lip out, two inches on each side, uh, with a two by four, and mounted the casters as outboard as possible. That's to reduce the tippiness this way. Um, and so I'm going to do the same thing. It worked out well with my other one. My other one actually has another section on top. It's not a uh, drawer. It's just a flip-up lid, and then you have a an area up here um, to put odds and ends. But, this one I was, you know, I, I assumed I was going to be painting, but this actually has good paint. It just needs to be cleaned up. So I think this is going to become my sticker board too. I've been looking for a place to put all my stickers. All right, got to get it uh, flipped over so that, or flipped on its side so that I can actually uh, access the bottom. So obstacle one. You see that? That's what I used to uh, put my extension feet on my other one and I got two of these that have popped out here you can see they're they were welded and this thing took a hit as it was being slid somewhere and just popped right out it was never really meant to take a lot of shear load or anything it was really um, you know this is the bottom so all pressure was up if it was working you know as intended uh, it just had a little leveling feet in it that's all so um, I'm going to uh, Try to weld that back in there. I'll take the uh, flap disc and clean that up. Clean these up. I got two that are missing. I got two that are in place, and I think I'll just go ahead and clean those uh, areas up and, and hit some more weld on there so that they'll be stronger to do what I want to do.
it's on there. The reason I'm going to the trouble of mounting these outboard is that um, if it's inboard like this, or if it's even if I just weld it right up to the edge, uh, then what you're going to wind up with when the wheel's down here, you've basically shifted the pivot point from here down to here and made this thing extremely tippy. If I just raise it up a couple of inches, which is what I tend to do, then um, you have reduced that loss of stability by quite a bit. Uh, you know, it'd be great if you came all the way out here or something, but then you're sacrificing a lot of shop space. So I think about right here is a good compromise. Keeps me from, uh, keeps me feeling pretty safe with the thing. So that's why I do it. So even recessed, which I'm going to have to do, I need something longer than these guys. Plus, you know, I'd have to slot these anyway uh, or something to, to drive them in. I didn't have uh, long enough bolts, but I have a bunch of threaded rods, some nuts, and washers. So that's the way I'm going to do it. So out in the wood shop, I made a recess for these guys using the forstner bit. And then on one end, but not the other, I recessed a little bit. And that's to handle the fact that uh, I'll show you here real quick. See down here, this foot is recessed, so the um, board can go flush. Up here, this actually pops out a bit, so the um, the extra relief should give it room. Give you an idea what I mean. Yep, that works. So we're flush all the way. I wound up just welding the nuts to the threaded rod. Just gonna ratchet and tighten these down, and uh, then we'll be ready to screw these on. Had to scrounge pretty hard in my stash to find 16 screws and washers. Alrighty. 